sometimes you've just got to treat yourself. All right, let's check this thing out. so tiny. Okay, so we got the baby camera, microphone, battery, tripod, whatever this little stand thing is, the wind muff, little dead kitten thing, lanyard, more silica gel, and it looks like we got our charging cable. Hmm, what else we got in here? Magnet for the microphone. Cool. And last but not least, a little wide angle lens. Oh, and there's also a protective cover. Cool. Okay, so it took about 20 minutes to download the app. I'm not sure why, but anyways, took care of that and, you know, registered and did all the uh, downloads of updates and whatnot. And now I'm just gonna break this in. So I took some time, probably a good 30 minutes to like tinker with settings, just get familiar. Uh, there's definitely a learning curve. I'm so used to the GoPro, but uh, so far I really see some good potential with this camera. So uh, one of the things I wanna to do today is just try a few different things, get familiar with how it works, and also just see how it performs under certain unique settings. So uh, part of it is frankly like low light situations. So I'm gonna start off by kind of walking down here through my really dark, uh, creepy basement which usually on the GoPro is like just nothing but like black jittery craziness. So we'll see uh, if this camera can handle a little bit better lighting situation there. So this is pretty dark, but I can tell on the screen here that it's performing pretty well. So where to? I've got the dynamic tracking set to my face here and kind of oriented it in the top right quadrant. So we'll see if that kind of hangs there as I maneuver and drive a little bit. Uh, I also just want to see how the audio is just coming straight out of the uh, internal mic, you know, without using the wireless one yet. So. For now, I'm just kind of curious to see how it goes, and so you guys tell me what you think. How does it sound? So this would be like a fairly harsh lighting setting where, you know, with the GoPro, this would be like totally blown out, you know, it would be like white over here, and my face would be totally black, so just kind of curious to see how that looks as well. By the way, I've decided to go somewhere close by, so I'm going to Lake Springfield, going to hike around there a little bit, and just try a variety of shots and see what kind of trouble I can get myself into. So even with this crappy lighting, is it still tracking my head? So one interesting thing is, you know, this camera is just so small. I mean, it's much smaller than I thought it was even looking at it online. You know, like right now I'm holding it, you know, as I'm also kind of touching the steering wheel so I can stay focused on what I'm doing here. But it really doesn't interfere with my line of sight, so I'm able to still see everything around me. There isn't this like big camera and a huge microphone in my face, so. Uh, so far, it's kind of nice. So last time I was here filming was to go on my first solo kayak, so if you guys are curious to check that one out, I'll put that one up here in the corner for you. Check out that link.
tracking is pretty cool, right? Guess somebody forgot their lunch. There's a lot of shade out today, so this would be a cool way to test out the camera's capabilities. be wondering why I've decided to upgrade my setup with something a little different and you know I just got a few gripes with my GoPro setup I actually really like the camera but there's a few scenarios that are just really starting to grind my gears and one of them is that it overheats for seemingly no reason I am you might film 30 seconds and it's not even that hot outside and it'll overheat and so that's just one of those situations where I'm constantly having to like shut down and take everything apart and put it back together and especially if you have the mod kit, you're basically having to undo the little stupid screw and then put up the pins and then unbuckle the media mod, pull it out, take the battery out, and then put it all back together just because it overheated for no good reason, you know. So I've heard that these things really hold up well in the heat, and so that's one of the main perks that I was looking for. I'm also testing out the app, and I think it's a little more responsive than the one on GoPro, I gotta say. Okay, I think it's time for a change of scenery, so I'm gonna get to a different part of the lake, and I'll see you guys here very shortly. here near the old power plant and I've always heard that there's a cave around here I think it's called the Boy Scout cave and uh, I was, you know, I'm not sure if I'm gonna find it but I figured I'd at least give it a shot so I'm gonna follow the railroad tracks my understanding and it should be somewhere in about 10 minutes from here so let's see if we can find it There used to be a train track here and since they've removed it, it's actually very brushy so I don't think I'm going to be going down there at least today. Maybe in the uh, winter when you know a lot of the stuff dies off, we'll try again. One of the other reasons I wanted to try this out is because it comes with its own wireless microphone and so sometimes when I'm too far from the camera the audio is just really bad and so I'm hoping that there'll be situations where I can rely on this so the other thing too with the GoPro is if you want to do that you have to like attach a whole other thing to it making your rig even bulkier you know okay that connected pretty fast so I get to test out some of these new features so I've got the track on me and I've also got the mic on so I'm gonna walk off and see if I stay in frame and see how this audio sounds. It's a pretty windy day. So, man, it's a really beautiful day out here. So let me see. Mic check, one, two, three. Bill's lost, no clue what he's doing. He's walking around with a microphone by himself and a brand new camera that's staring at him, right? What do you think? Well, isn't this cool? Wow. 
Well, I'm eager to get to the editing process. I want to see how the video quality is, how the low light, how the microphone is, the audio. So hopefully this will be a good rig for me to continue moving forward with my vlogging. So if you guys enjoy content like this, please consider subscribing and leaving a big thumbs up. It really helps keep me motivated to keep going on content like this. So until next time, take care.